Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a website with WordPress the easy way. Alright guys, so before we get going, I'm going to show you a few different looks you can have for your website. And by the way, these themes that I'm about to show you are all free to use as well as WordPress. So maybe if you're looking for something to display some photos, you could go with a the theme like this. Or maybe if you're looking for something with more of a main image, you could try this. Or if you want to just keep it really simple, you could go with something like this. But like I said, these themes I'm going to show you are all free to use and I would actually just recommend kind of scrolling through them after we install WordPress. And when you see something you like, you can install it and see how it actually looks. But for this tutorial video, I'm going to go with this WordPress theme called Kale. Okay, what we need to do first is go get our domain and hosting and that will install WordPress and start building the actual site. And the hosting provider we're going to be using is Bluehost. And I actually wrote a post about why we use Bluehost and the link's in the description if you want to go all the way through it. But basically, we use it because it's the hosting that WordPress recommends to use. We get a free domain, a free SSL certificate, which is important nowadays, and it's super easy to install. So what we're going to do is go grab the hosting discount on my resources page and the link to that is createwpsite.com slash build. You can type that in or if you want a desktop or a laptop computer, there should be a link inside this actual video at the bottom left. Or you can just click the link in the description below. Alright, now we're going to go and we're going to click on the Bluehost link. And I'm also going to show you too a little tip that we use to get an even cheaper deal on the hosting once we get a little further. So the first thing we're going to do is click the green get started now button. And once you get here you can select your plan. I'm just going to select the basic. Okay and this is where you're going to choose your free domain name. So whatever you want your website to be called you can enter it here and see if it's available. So I'm just going to enter my domain and then you can click the next button. Alright, then when you get to this page, the first thing you want to do is scroll down and we're going to uncheck these three extras. You can keep them if you want, but just to keep things cheap and simple, uh, we're going to uncheck them. Then what we're going to do is scroll back up here to the plan and you can select the length you want. I'm just going to go with the basic 12 months and you'll see the price is $71.40 for the year but like I said earlier I'll show you how to get the hosting for less than $3 a month with a little secret tip. And the way you do that is if you're on a desktop computer or a laptop just pretend like you're going to close the page just like that. And a little discount pops up for just $265 a month. So we're going to click on that, Claim Savings button. And then we're going to scroll back down here and we're going to uncheck these again. And now if we scroll back up to Plans and select the basic plan for 12 months, you'll see the price is just $59.40 now. So we saved a little over $10, bucks, which is always good. And now I'm going to finish filling out uh, my account information and payment information and I'll be back. Okay, so I got everything filled out. I got the payment info in. Now just make sure everything looks correct on your screen. And we're going to agree to the terms of service. And then we're going to click submit. Okay guys, now we're at the confirmation page. That was pretty easy. Now we're going to set up our account. So the first thing we're going to do is check for a confirmation email. And the way we do that is by visiting our email that we used earlier to set up the account. So I'm going to go to my email right now. Okay, and there's a confirmation email along with a couple others that you can look over to. And now we're going to click on the verify your email. Okay, and that's it. Your account is now uh, verified. All right, now we can go back to this original page here and we can set up a password for our account. And the way we do that is click this green create your password button. And you guys are obviously going to want to make note of your password too, just so you don't forget it. 
We're going to agree to the terms of service. Click Next. Okay, now that's it. You set up a password. Now what we're going to do is uh, log in. Okay, and when we get to this part right here, you can just scroll down and click skip this step because we're going to be doing all this later. All right, so we're going to start building the actual website now. And the first thing we're going to do is click log into WordPress. And if you guys are just setting this up and you click here and maybe you get an error page or anything like that, it's just because it's a brand new account and it needs a little more time to set up. All right, now we're going to install the WordPress theme. So we're going to go over here to Appearance and then click on Themes. And then we're going to go down here and click on Add New Theme. And this is where all the free uh, WordPress themes are. There's literally thousands to choose from. So you guys can check those out. And I also put the three themes that I use for the examples uh, in this video over here to the right. But the theme we're going to be using today is called Kale. So we're going to go over here to the search bar and look up Kale. Okay, and there it is. And then we're just going to click on install and then activate. All right, so the theme has been activated. And what we're going to do next is go over to where we add or edit our website title and tagline. So we're going to go to settings, then we're going to click on general. And now I'm going to add my title and my tagline. And if you guys can't think of a tagline or don't want one, you can just leave it blank. So now we're going to scroll down and click Save Changes. Okay, we can start putting up some content now. So we're going to go over here and we're going to click on Post. And now before we do anything, we're going to uh, get rid of this sample post right here. So we're just going to click on this box and then select Move to Trash and then click Apply. And it's gone. And that's how you delete any post that you don't want anymore. All right, then we're going to click Add New. And this will be our first post. And right here, this is where you're going to add a title to the post. And below, this is where you're going to put all the actual content, the text, the photos, anything like that. So if you click on this Add Image button right here, and then you click on the Upload button, and you just select uh, what photo you want and then you click open that's how you put uh, a photo inside the actual post so I'm just gonna add my title and some text real quick alright I just did those two things really quick and now I'm just gonna add a couple of images to the post Okay, then we're going to set a featured image, which is just the main image for the post. And basically, it's the same way that you upload a regular photo. Okay, so I set my featured image and you guys are going to want to put up your own photos and content, obviously. And if you're looking for uh, professional copyright free stock photos to use like these, you can go and check out this site called Pexels.com and everything is free and just type in what you're looking for or click browse up at the top and there's tons of images to search from. Okay, so now this post is done and I'm just going to go up here and click publish. Okay, and the post has been published, and now I'm just going to go and add some additional posts just like this by basically repeating these same steps till we have about five different posts. All right, so I just finished up the last post, and now what we're going to do is head over to the Pages section. And like we did for the uh, example post, we're going to do the same thing for this example page. And we're going to take it and move that to the trash, click Apply. 
Then after that, we're going to come up here, click Add New. And then I'm going to make a few pages. And this is pretty much the same thing as a post, too, as far as how you set it up. So I'm just going to add the title and then the copy. All right, now I'm going to do the same exact thing for a few other pages. All right, now I got all my pages added, and I also put links in the About Us and Contact Us pages in case you need some additional help on how to write these pages. All right, so now we're back over to the dashboard, and we're going to move on to the final step, which is to edit the header image for our website. So what we're going to do is go over to Appearance, and then we're going to click on Customize. Then we're going to go over here and click on header image and then add new image. Then I'm going to select my image and then I'm going to go over here and click select and crop. Just going to put that where I think looks good and then I'm going to click crop image. And then you're going to click publish. And that's how we change the header image. And one more important thing, guys, before I close out this video, when you're at your Bluehost dashboard, go over here to My Sites, and then click over here and click on Manage Site, and then click on Settings. And you're going to want to come down here where it says Coming Soon page, and it's probably going to be turned on, and you want to turn it off, because otherwise it's just going to display a Coming Soon page versus your actual page. Alright guys, so that's it. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult, and this is what your website can look like. And like I said, go through all the themes after you put up some content and see what look is your favorite, and you'll definitely find something you'll like. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.